Oh, well, what we've got on the agenda for today, all you hardcores, hope you're all okay out there and not on skid row like me. Skid row. Jesus. I feel safe on skid row. Katie Taylor, what next for Katie Taylor? Have a look. Uh, what next for Katie Taylor? I don't know. I don't really care. She's had how many gifts has she had now on points, Katie Taylor? You could say she's had three or four gifts, couldn't she, really? Nobody's going to burst her bubble, are they, on points? So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, isn't it? But I'd like to see a fight with Chantel Cameron, work it out if they can fight it that way and get at it. Well, I think to Jack Catterall Taylor too. Yes, please. Is it pay-per-view? Well, we've got an undisputed guy, haven't we? Obviously, I'm not sure if he's lost a couple of belts, has he now? But he was undisputed. Taylor's undefeated, didn't he? Catterall won undefeated. There's a bit of beef there, let him get at it. Uh, may the best man win, that's what I say. May the best man win. So... Who out the EIS has done well out of that up there? Over here, EIS. Who's done well out of that? Who? Oh. Oh, you say McCracken's done well out of it, wouldn't you? I mean, they're all up there, him and his brothers, aren't they? So they've done well at the job, haven't they? They've had Joshua, the Frotch Joshua and others, haven't they? We had Frotch before EAS, so he, he, before he got the job at EAS, but they've done well out of it. Eddie's done well out of it. Simsers have done well out of it. There's a lot of people who've done well at that EAS. But let me just point this out. Nobody ever, nobody ever puts it on these people about this. Nobody. None of these YouTubers. That over here, the EIS at Sheffield, the Atticliffe, that's lottery funded. It's not for Big Meats Joshua and all these 258 fighters to be swanning around there with all these hangers on. It's not for that. It's for amateur sport. Amateur. Not professional. So they've had it off the music facilities up there now for what? 14 year nearly. The man was a big, tough, brave man, but when he met me, he got beat with inside a minute. And the ambulance scraped him up off the road and took him away to the hospital, and his life was over from there on. And um, plenty of witnesses, including Greater Manchester Regional Crime Squad, they stopped me from absolutely killing him altogether. Well, it would be for, I take Carl Frotch for training up there for, for Super Six. It was a long time ago, innit? it? McCracken's been there a long time. Uh, I like Robert McCracken, but that up there is for amateurs. That's why they all stayed quiet. You never see Sims and McCracken gain it this year. Because they know they've had it off up there. Well, Sims is his Jimmy Essex, hasn't it? But they've all been up there. Everybody's had the hand in the cookie jar up there. It's been milk for everything, innit? It's still being milked. I just think it's wrong. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. I think it's wrong. Can Felix Cash win a world title? Maybe. I quite like his style actually. Maybe. Maybe he wins a world title in match correctly. Yeah. I like his style. He didn't look good in his last fight though, did he? But we all have bad nights at office, don't we? But yeah, quite like his style. Canelo, Callum Smith, will there be a rematch? Ozzy Smith says no. I say I'd like to see Callum Smith let his hands go, but I think he throws up night and give him too much respect. What next for Joshua Bratz? He don't care. John Ryder, well, I hope he gets a shot at vacant WBO or gets a payday against Canelo. So, Mark Efron, I wish him well. He can crack. Wish him well. Martin McCauley. Martin McCauley. Martin McCauley is a special talent. He's got skills to burn, I've been told mega skills but he's in the bracket he's in like the Joe Joyce Lewis Ortiz bracket isn't he they're not queuing up for him are they is it his trainer's fault his advisors or what I don't know but I seen him walking around looking like M. Bison you know how the street fighter from 30 years ago 
Nintendo, remember it? You're walking around, looks like M. Bison. So, trying to be a superhero like Furious Batman. Oh no, can Johnny Fisher win a world title or is he a gimmick? I think he's a gimmick. Don't help with his dad running around, giving it this Bosch carry on and all that. It's all a bit cringe, isn't it? It's Mark Tibbs running a brothel or a gym. We've already covered that one, so. Is UFC peeing all over boxing at the moment? Yeah, because there's one organisation controlled by a dictator. And that's what Eddie tried to do with, with boxing, but it failed spectacularly. Why are promoters not writing things in contracts with fighters? And... So, so, why have we got promoters? Sorry, why have we got promoters? Wanting options on people, on mandatories. You know, if people have got contracts, why mess up? Why, why mess about with them? For example, why did Tyson Fury have to rematch Vladimir Klitschko after he beat him when he was mandatory? Why? Same with Joshua situation, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And, and Dylan White, Pavetkin had to rematch that, didn't they, to put that right? It, uh, it all leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It does. No. What's happened to Steve Bunce of late? Yeah, what, what's happened to uh, Bunce, the Buncenator? What's happened to Steve Bunce lately? Steve, what's happening with you, mate? Come see me. But uh, Dave Allen's making a comeback. So is Max. Max the breadcrumb. Out of a breadcrumb with his Volvo. Max rung me up the other night because I'm coming back, Pork. And Dennis was telling to me, Dave Allen's coming back. So I says, what are they coming back from, Dennis, though? Lazyitis or rigor mortis? What are they coming back from? The only belt the pair of them have got between them is a snake belt. To so hold the 42 inch waist jeans up. Isn't that right, Max? <laughs> Come see me next Tuesday, Max. Come have a beer with me. Oh, I wonder what next for uh, Anna Rankin. I wonder if he's going to make a comeback. Hey, up, Dennis. Hey, up, Porky Ross. Hey, up, Michelle. Hey, up, Ross. Hey, up, Pal. <laughs> Are you coming back, Ross? Oh, Ross the boss, bless him. What are we going to have next? Fuki coming back for a third run at it. Fuki's made more comebacks than Joe Bugner. <laughs> oh, okie dokie anyway. So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Dot of nightmares. Chris Medley, come see me. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Sight Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.